And we are in uh, the second game of KK Crushes versus Team Replica. And Team Replica won the first game uh, quite convincingly. And they have to win the second game also if they want to continue to the quarterfinals of the Mishmash uh, tournament. And uh, we're just uh, entering the picks and bands right now. And my co-cast today is Exeter. Hello. Hey, thanks. <laughs> and I am Seaver. And we're just uh, jumping into the game. We already were in the game, so still. And uh, like I like I predicted, the anti mage that I was in the previous game is uh, banned as the first ban. Uh, Darkseer and uh, Invoker are banned also. Uh, Chen and Chantress and Chen are banned also. That means that the hero that was banned in the previous game, Broodmother, uh, is still in the match. And as is Windrunner, Venomancer, and also so forth. Xerxam and yes, and all that good stuff. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, and Windfront was picked up as first hero, so, yeah, nothing unusual there. They don't definitely don't want to see that anti-mage again, so, nope. and, as uh, you mentioned, the ban. Shadow and Shaman. Shadow Shaman. This time uh, for Team Replica, because previous game, uh, KK Crushers had uh, Shadow Shaman. Yep. And, yeah, they... I think the Shadow Shaman, they, they made some good use of him. They got some towers in the early, or in the beginning stages of the game, but, yeah, later on, they, I don't know. They kind of were outplayed, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the the combination of the Sand King and the Asian Deprivation from the Radiant, or sorry, from uh, Team Replica, because the entire previous game Ra uh, Radiant now, uh, from Team Replica was quite uh, painful for the Tide Hunter, who, uh, who whose farm took longer than it should. In the end. Yeah, definitely. And once again, we see the Sand King picked up by Team Replica. Yes. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm wondering if uh, we're gonna see uh, Age Depression once again, and it could be happening. Tidehunter goes again to uh, KK Crushers, and uh, it's the Brute Mother. Yeah, yeah. there's the Brute Mother, so the Dire did not definitely needs something. Um, yeah, and they uh, the some AOE. Yeah, and uh, maybe a Slard or a Bounty Hunter or something. The, the Bans are, are now going to go out, and that means that the D Radiant still have a chance to ban out the heroes that can counter Brute Mother. Uh, most, which is uh, probably Bounty Hunter and uh, Slardar. I don't, uh, I don't see them pick, at uh, least Slardar. Bounty yeah, Slardar, Slardar might be possible, but we see. There we first. go, Slardar ban. <laughs> yeah, uh, two bands now are Ricky Maro and Slardar, and I don't really understand the Ricky Maro band because they already have one invisible hero. They don't want, one, they don't want another. I think, or they wouldn't. Yeah, no, they have two with a th with a Sand King, so that's. I don't know. It would be too easy to counter that. I mean, yeah, but they also don't want to see the apparition again. So <laughs> that hero is banned as well. And, and uh, understandable. Although yeah. I think that if the radiant really wanted him, they would have picked him instead of the brute mother. Yeah. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Probably yes. Yeah. And yeah, the last band, the Omni Knight. Um. Well, he can be pretty good against the Brute Mother. D true. Um, Very true. But, mm, yeah. And and good for the Sand King also, because the Sand King, you know exactly where he is in the Shatterstorm. He, so you just have someone stand there and heal him, and, and you get that last hit. But then again, they already have the Power Shot. And now also the Fisher, which is really nice to just hit through the storm. And it looks like the Radiant don't want to make it a late game. No, or definitely. A lengthy there. game, I should say. No, the Radiant are really, yeah, putting their money on the pushing strategies this time around. I mean, Lashrak, Shadow Shaman, and the Brute Mother are heavy pushers, and <laughs> once again... The Pugna, but this time, this time for the KK Crushers. Yeah, but it's once again the Pugna, so in my regard, the Shadow Shaman and the Lashrak, they are pretty mana intensive, and same as for the Sand King, actually. And that's why, uh, yeah, Crystal Maiden. It's mana intensive. Hello, mana battery. Yeah, yeah but I mean, uh, with mana, mana intensive, I mean with the ward. The ward will yeah, that, that also, and it's pain, it will be painful for the Um yeah, And for the Shadow Shaman also, of course, but there will still be a lot of pushing power. Yeah, that's true, and the Pagna also is pretty good with her, with her, um, yeah, with her um, AoE spell to counter push against the brute. Brutlings or what? Can we for uh, AP? 
wrong. Okay. Yeah, and um, we already have an agree there. It goes. Uh, sure. Same pass. Wrong oh, they pick. probably mean. Someone got the hero that they shouldn't have, yeah, which means that all. we're just gonna do the same again. Even though this time we will be all picking. Yeah, I thought the Pugna was wrong, but oh no, they didn't pick the hero hero they wanted. But yeah, it's only that they. What? Cry AC. Yeah, he's in the wrong slot. Uh, just waiting for uh, Cookie. Um. Yeah. I don't think he wanted to join then. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna start the game. Yeah, just okay? start it. That's okay. And yeah. I don't. I think this don't need to be funny. <laughs> but yeah, just start it. It should be fine. Yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. Start it then. And I hope you still remember what. Um, Oh, finding server mm. still. Uh, what heroes uh, we had? And uh, oh yeah, uh, the radiant side that was uh, brute mother and the sand king, and uh, and yeah. the crystal maiden and the shadow <laughs> shaman and the Shrek. Yep. But yeah, I think they will remember the heroes, and I think we will see if something's wrong. Indeed. Uh, yeah, for the dire we had uh, a pugna. Won't, r won't forget that. And a wind runner, and the venomancer, and the earth shaker. And a tide hunter. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I wasn't remember that one at all. So, but yeah, the tide hunter it was, and I hope they're happy with their picks now. Yep, and uh, I'm just gonna go over to uh, Kiki Crushes and uh, do their intro because that's the same as last time. Uh, we see uh, Odu playing uh, the Pugna. Uh, Xblade is on the on the Venomancer and is already warding. Is going for support. It seems to be going for the middle. Eh, it's probably gonna ward. Uh, Windrunner is being played by Dony Beasts. Uh, Doomrat is being uh, uh, or is playing Earthshaker. And last, uh, Tidehunter Fear got steeper than Swords. Is uh, Playing uh, him. <laughs> All yours. Yeah. And for the radiant, we have Cry Asia is on the brute mother on the bottom lane solo against the trident. It seems we have um, the rest of the heroes yeah, trying to gang the forest, and the crystal maiden is played by Micha. The Lethrak is played by RMC. The Shadow Shaman is played by Skilla, and last but least, the Sand King is played by Flax. Indeed, and they might catch out this uh, Pugna right here, even though he's uh, looking for safety to the tower. Um. Yeah, Pugna might even have spotted them, so... Yeah, so just some warding going on, and then everyone ha will head to their lane, and it seems yeah, the, the Shadow Shaman gets the middle lane. And the Crystal Maiden... Oh, she's just warding and probably staying on the top lane. Yeah, uh, the Dyer is uh, quite grouped up and uh, curious what they're gonna go for. Because there's now four of the Dyer on the on the top lane. And they want to probably first blood from the Shadow Shaman. But will they get it? The Gale is mm. up on the Venomizer, so they might be going for it. Uh, but yet the Broodmother is by himself versus the Pugna, which is uh, very good, I think. Because uh, one blast and all the spiderlings are gone, and you know, you probably hit Broodmother also if you uh, don't really know where she is. This is AoE. Uh, we see yep. uh, Crystal Maiden finding the Windrunner and the Earthshaker. Earthshaker lands a Fisher, but uh, they don't follow it up, they just uh, retreat, as does uh, Crystal Maiden. Who uh, yeah. is on a tri lane with uh, Sand King and Leshrac versus Windrunner by herself with uh, probably some help from Earthshaker in the forest. 
who's uh, stack pooling now. In the middle lane, we see the Shadow Shaman going on yeah, up against the two, the Venomans and the Titan. The Venomans are already used to scale, so they don't want him to get or to have an easy time in that lane. No, and he won't have it. Yeah, definitely not. Um, but because for, for that very very re very reason, probably we see Crystal Main running towards the middle lane and probably going to help uh, support the Shadow Shaman. Yeah, it seems so. Replica now pulling the creeps off to the side lanes so, or to the side and th into the woods. So, yeah, their lane gets pushed a bit more. They can farm freely there. Meanwhile, the uh, Earthshaker is preparing for a double pull on the top lane. Oh, he, he wants even more to make a triple more. camp. He wants more. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Crystal Maiden has uh, picked up uh, Orange. Sorry, she is dusted. Smoked. She's smoked. And uh, I think she's going to try to uh, get a gank out on the, on the Pugna. Yeah, if the Pugna is not careful, then she might have a slight problem with the Crystal Maiden now. She's gets revealed in the Pugna. She's no longer invisible. Smoking. No, oh, she sees her. And he's being so caught out, he's gonna be the first blood. He banishes himself, so he might be able to get away still. He uses his self, but he's gets put off by uh, the Crystal Maiden. The speed on the Broodmother is there for the uh, for the web, but... Oh, last hit with the with the make spiraling thingies, but it didn't get the kill. Very uh, brave little Pugna guy here. And, and a good banish straight away. Yeah, that was very good. And um, yeah, now he will probably just stay back and um, eat some tangos. And yep, he doesn't have a self anymore because he used it already. But uh, that self also probably saved his life. And once again, the brutal and the crystal maiden there are aggressive now, so the Pugna won't get anything there on for quite some time. Nope. And yeah, once again, a Nova by the crystal maiden. And the top lane, we have. You might have a fight there. Oh, the they got cut out of the Glashrek. Nice tree eating there, uh, pretty fast on making an uh, escape route for himself. Yeah, and they really don't want the want the dire to do this pool here, but they uh, will make the uh, and their a pool of their own. Yeah, but it doesn't work because the creeps are already in the fight, and they don't they don't care if they're just some um, neutrals, but. Yeah. No, they didn't stack the camp actually. No, not not. No, it's only the skeletons there. So they didn't stack the camp another time. And we still haven't had our first blood, which might uh, come shortly if this Pugna is not careful. Even though the Crystal Maiden is is hiding behind a tree, and is probably uh, making uh, Pugna believe that she is no longer there. Yeah, but I think Pugna's. Or I hope at least the Pugna will be really careful now because. Yeah, he definitely doesn't want to get caught out on that that lane, giving the boot mother even more farmland she already has. Because right now she's the most farmed hero on the map, and um, yeah. Yeah, That's with the uh, 25 thing. creep kills versus the Pugna 13, it's quite a difference. Yeah, and we also we see the Venomancer on the bottom lane waiting at the haste rune, so he might or they might think about something there. Uh, but they wouldn't but be able to get a kill on the Broodmother though, because they yeah. don't have a ward, and uh, I don't th see a ward on the way. Uh, Venomance might be going for uh, for a Shadow Shaman though, uh, who is totally vulnerable, and there can go uh, can con come a gale. Nope, no gale. No Just gale, but Shadow Shaman is completely off mana, so they... Yeah, but they weren't sure, and they maybe even didn't see that, so they don't want to yeah. risk anything. Yeah, and they don't want to dive the tower yet, probably. We see the the spiderlings of uh, of broodmother are uh, having a nice far a nice time in the forest, uh, getting a bit of farm. Yep. By uh, killing and the creeps. Was also oh, we see well maybe a first blood on the bottom lane. Pugna's on the run from broodmother and shadow or sorry, and crystal main, and there's no web up for broodmother. Never mind, he just put a web up. Uh, Venomancer is there to help out, but he's too late. And the make spiderlings gets the first kill on uh, on the pugna. Yeah, I missed that. And that was a very good first place for the Brute Mother. She definitely, she now has her boots, her soul ring, and 600 gold in the bank. So, yeah, yep. I'm interested in what she's going for, and I believe the smart thing would be to go straight for BKB because there's so much 
disabling so much magic damage on the on the dire side. Yep. Well, well, yeah. First foot for power threats naturally, or something along both lines, and then straight for a BKB. Um, yeah. What else? We have the Shadow Shaman now going to the bottom lane, and nah, they might it just no. He's just picked up a rune. They might, yeah. Not not so much happening. No, Crystal Maiden yeah. helping the Spiderlings get a little bit of form in the, in the uh, forest. <laughs> yeah. Which is quite fun to see. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, the top it's a, a pretty careful game for uh, for both teams at the moment. They they yeah, both the played very the defensive. We had to go on the, sh uh, on the Sand King on the top lane, so he barely got out of there with 90 HP. And, um, yeah. Gale but was used, Fisher was um, used. Seems. Yep, yeah, and now. Uh, oh. That's it for now. There's not so much action anymore. The Electrak is farming pretty okay as well. He's on tw 29 creep kills, um, which is the second mo second highest farm on the map. So, yeah, the, 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 dire de the Radiant definitely getting the better of the Dire here. And uh, um, that's what the gold graph also shows, almost a 2k gold advantage. Yeah, and what is also very, very um, bad for the die right now is that the sh Earthshaker is only level 3. The yeah. crystal, even the Crystal Maiden has more levels than him, so... Yeah, that's not not what he wants, definitely. Nope, and um, they seem to be wanting to do something on the bottom lane. Fenomans are on his way. Um, nope, he just wanted to refresh his ward, which is now right next to the ward of the radi of the yeah, of the radiant. Always nice. Yeah, and they saw him there. They <laughs> they know that those this ward is up. And the Pagna, <laughs> he might be in trouble. The Crystal Maiden is fast enough. Uh, yeah, definitely in trouble. Crystal Maiden gets a kill with a Nova. That was uh, that's don't th that's a downside of banishing yourself. You take extra damage from uh, something like make spider links. Spawn spider yeah, links. I don't understand why the Pugna didn't didn't play. I mean, he has two sentry wards. Why don't, doesn't he use them to be safe or something like that? I don't understand I that. I think he only all. just got them. I'm not sure. Okay, but then I don't understand why he didn't get them earlier because on the playing against the brute, you definitely need those. I fully agree. Well. Fully agree. Because yeah, you you can't play playing against the brute without those without the wards. Nope. Uh, we saw. Um, Shadow Shaman uh, defending himself, or maybe trying to get a kill on the middle lane earlier. Uh, but he has his wards on cooldown now because he placed him in the middle of the middle lane, which is quite odd. Which was what I was wondering about before uh, Pugna got killed for the second time. But uh, yeah, the Titan Hunter in the middle is getting a nice amount of farm, or for now. More than he had earlier, anyway. Yeah, but on the top lane we have to go on the wind runner that there's Shadow Shaman and the uh, Lashra Kandia, she will go down. Last hit from the burst right from the Sand King. Yeah. Now the Edict is used, so it might not be, or they might not be able to... Oh well, never mind, they, they will, will push the tower because there is no defense coming in whatsoever. And, and they will yeah. be able to do so, I mean, uh, it's only 4 seconds left on the cooldown, so... You could just use it as soon as uh, they get reach the tower. I wonder why Sand King isn't uh, helping with the auto attack though, with the push. He's there probably he afraid, goes. I don't know, that there's someone waiting behind the tower, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, nobody's, nobody's there and nobody's even trying to defend this. And um, I was about to say, uh, the Shrek wasn't using his diabolic. We see something happening on the bottom lane for the Dire though. There's three of the Dire there and uh, they have a ward up quite aggressively. And they will catch out on the Crystal Maiden who is uh, still able to get away even though the Fisher is there. Pugna ward goes off. The Broodmother is gonna get the last hit on the on the Pugna. Sorry, that was Shadow Shaman got the last hit on the on the Pugna. Broodmother got the last hit on the Venomancer, and that was not a very good initiation from the from the Dyer, who definitely initiated that fight. Yeah, not at all. And yeah, the Broodmother just going back to farming. Yeah, he she got the face boots, and now he's got the ogre club as well. And yeah, it will almost be BKB now. He's on. He can buy the hammer and then the recipe, so... Yeah. Very good form for the Brute Mother there. Definitely. It's not much the cr uh, the Crushers have to... Yeah, have to... They can't really do anything against it. Well, I have to say, they don't... Uh, the Dyer don't push a lot, though. I was expecting them to push more, but... 
there's no tower down for the Radiant yet. No, for neither, and in 10 minutes. And that is not unusual, but if you're having a push strategy, then it is uh, and we about have, uh, time for the first time. And the middle lane. And the Titan reused his ultimate to kill them off, and that's the first kill for the Dire right now. Yep. So, yeah. One kill, but and we see a kill on the Earthshaker with uh, from the Broodmother who uh, has dived the tower to do so, and uh, used her ultimate uh, just to get a bit of life back. And uh, there we go, push on the tower, and more spiderlings uh, are spawned. So uh, yeah, there comes the creep wave. This tower might not live for very long, even though there is a Pugna to uh, kill off some spiders. The tower is still. Uh, yeah, but there's still so many spellings at the top. Oh, Pugna's in trouble. The, the ghost, uh, the wand sticks, which was charges, which was very useful, otherwise he would have died. Uh, they're on the way back. The teleport comes in. Someone c cancelled their teleport. What? Some spiderlings finish off the Pugna, but Tidehunter still gets the kill on the, on the Broodmother. Oh, sorry. Wow, on the f crystal, crystal Maiden. maiden. Jeez, sorry. Bit messed up. <laughs> uh, the Broodmother might be in trouble here, even though they don't have a ward, so they won't be able to do anything against it. Never mind. Uh, there we saw a teleport coming in from one of the Dyer, but he actually cancelled it. I think that was by accident. I hope it was by accident, because it could have maybe prevented the death. Yeah, probably. He just wanted, or he just wanted to use a skill and just did it a second, split second before the teleport finished. So, yeah, but there now the Radiant even getting another tower, tower on the top lane with the Edict and a smoke goes up immediately afterwards to maybe catch the Windrunner, but no, they are not fast enough. They just the Shadow Shaman and the Sand King will just roam the woods a bit, trying to catch someone there, but for now it seems nobody... But in the middle lane. I the think they, they want to go again. for the Pugna, and uh, all they need to do is uh, get out of stun. Uh, there will be a Shackle, some uh, last hits. Oh, the Crystal Maiden is there, last hit goes to, Chris, uh, to close to the Sand King. Uh, Nova was uh, there uh, to uh, initiate right after the stun from the from the Sand King. And uh, yeah, there was a bit of an of a fast skill and, and unsurprising, he uh, he was just caught out. He should have known that there were known that there were misses on the map at the time. On, on the top lane, Lashrak um, initiating on the Venomancer, but um, <laughs> the Venomancer has to help out and yeah, yeah. Venomancer will be able to get away. And Lashrak got blocked by creeps, so he couldn't get through the forest to uh, have his uh, diabolic uh, finish him off. And meanwhile, in the middle lane, um, initiation on Tide Hunter. Epicenter and yes. Yeah. There goes the Tide Hunter lives. Ultimate. The Sand King is in trouble. Gush fini Pagna finishes uh, Sand King off actually with the strike. Uh, Shadow Shaman Wards are there and all of the Dyer are very low, so they might not uh, want to be there. No, they definitely don't want. But the uh, Shadow Shaman is not very high uh, HP either. But what is he doing there? What's Pagna doing there? He might not survive those wards standing there, but he still gets the kill on the Crystal Main. But dies himself also. Uh, Diabolics is probably going to finish off the Earthshaker who's trying to get away, but the Diabolic runs off. The Ether Shock finishes off the the Earthshaker from the Shadow Shaman, getting the last hit. What were they doing there? I don't <laughs> they can't fight in those wards. Not that early in the game, and they shouldn't. Actually, they should never fight in those wards. But. Yeah, okay. I mean the tower was gone anyway. Yeah, we see the uh, Broodmother uh, just uh, heavily pushing uh, the, the bottom lane. Uh, she got the tower, the tier 2 tower, and uh, now her, he, she and her spiderlings are on the run from uh, some uh, defense from the Dyer. But uh, she got a little bit off the off the top tower, tier 3 tower. It's quite yeah, and aggressive. she's just doing what, she's, what she does best, just pushing the lane, letting the others fight in the other lanes, and yeah, farming like mad. He's he has uh, the BKB and 2,000 gold in the bank, so yeah, um, totally fine there. Yeah, and a gold advantage of uh, over 12k for uh, in favor of the Radiant. Oh god, <laughs> well that's huge now. And yeah, we can s also see that with the items. I mean, there's not very much on the Dire. Once again, a hood on the Tide Hunter, but that's basically it. And Oh, we might see some of the Radiant getting caught out here. The Gale goes off on the last track and the Power Shot goes through and the last hit goes to the Pugna with his uh, Blast killing off the last track, but it didn't get the Shadow Shaman because he got an invisibility rune. Uh, the Radiant are actually looking to initiate now, having uh, a couple of the Dire already on low health. Pugna goes down really fast with the Aether Shock without putting up his ward. Shadow Shaman will go down through to the Power Shot of Windrunner. 
Uh, Spawn Spiderlings finishes off uh, Crystal Maiden, uh, sorry, uh, finishes off uh, Windrunner. Crystal Maiden will still also die, this time by Venomancer. Venomancer will go die by the Brute Mother, who is having a double kill and is still on the chase for the Tide Hunter. The Burst Strike will be up for the Sand King soon and will be able to Burst Strike on the Tide Hunter. There we go, there's nothing more that he can do. The teleport comes in from from the Pugna, who is still trying to get, a, to get a kill of this, but he might be in trouble himself because the Sand King is not backing off yet. He gets the kill, but he gush finishes off the Sand King. Uh, last hit from the Brood Mother goes off uh, from the Pagna's <laughs> Ether Blast. I think he wants to no, spawn the No, the Brood Mother died from that from the ward. Yeah, that's what I said. From the Pagna. Oh, Ether. Then no, another ward. Another ward. Oh yeah, I thought you meant the blast. Okay. No, Pagna <laughs> was dead already. He couldn't have been the blast. Yeah, yeah, and also, yeah, but that Classic was fight. very interesting there from the Brood Mother. Um, I tried to use a web, I believe. <laughs> Or her response by links. I think that I think the web uh, shadow of Tide Hunter is in trouble, and uh, a gale goes off on the on the brood mother. They don't have a ward with them, though. I wonder how they how they're seeing this. Uh, they they can't really do anything anymore. Uh, there goes the ward, a bit too late, but uh, still goes off. Spawns by links uh, hits Earth Shaker, but he doesn't really uh, care. Uh, he gets certain their chicken, though. He might still die. Burrow Strike doesn't hit him. Tide Hunter ultimate goes off. Earth Shaker gets finished off. Power Shot goes through both Sand King and uh, both the brood mother, and he gets a double kill. From uh, the winter on the last hit on the Tide Hunter is not going to be uh, Crystal Maiden who is on the run again. It gets shackled and the gush finishes off Crystal Maiden, and quite some action here in the middle lane. And uh, Lashrak trying to still catch out someone, but uh, Tide Hunter is now uh, rightfully on his way back, and uh, finishes <laughs> gets finished off also by the ward. But when he tried to do a stun on the Pugna, very good fight for the Dire there with the uh, Radiant just overextending, like too much. And uh, I'm wondering yeah. what the Goldcraft will think of this in in a uh, in a minute or so when uh, when it's there. It's already di dipping down a bit. It's now at 10k, and yeah, might even dip down a bit more. Yeah, same I think it will dip down a bit more. Graph, and yeah. Oh, the experience graph dipped dipped down way more than the gold graph, though. Yeah, definitely. And I'm curious why the partner isn't using his life train right now. I mean, he's he hasn't used. Once I think, and that's a very st strong spell, especially if there's not so much stun around anymore. When the Shadow Shaman died and the um, Sand King died, there's not. Yeah, I don't know why he's not using it at all. No, it's quite odd. Yeah, but they defended the tower successfully, I believe, and it was a good fight for the for the Dire there in the middle lane. Now yeah. Crystal Maiden smoked up again, walking around looking for someone. Same goes for the Sand King and the Shadow Shaman. Yep, and they smoked up and are gonna try to get in behind the tower of the behind the tier two tower. And they might actually uh, nope, nope, they're not finding anybody. They uh, placed the ward though in, and the visibility ward just to check. Uh, smoke on them. Crystal Maiden runs out. To yeah. those actions, and they they can't really find anybody. Or they they are just waiting and hoping to uh, to get someone. Uh, the Sand King's ultimate is not on cooldown though, so that could just be their initiation and their plan for uh, for a team fight. And they could have it. Tide Hunter is uh, is there, and I'm just waiting for the, I'm waiting for the Sand King to uh, start his uh, epicenter. Well, there are four heroes now from the dire in the middle lane and yeah, the fifth. Yeah, it's on the side waiting, so the whole team of the Dyers in the middle lane waiting at the tower, so they, they know something's up there. They don't don't want to... Oh, 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 oh. they will find out, and there goes the... Uh, Aethershock does a lot of damage and catches out both Earthshaker and the Pugna, and the Tidehunter uses his ulti, Ravage goes off, Gush goes off on the Sand King. Sand King is in trouble from the, from the Venomancer. Uh, Damage, but the pipe goes off on the tight hunter. He still gets stunned, and he will die. Last hit goes through uh, Brute Mother, but that is everybody of the Dire. No, Windrunner is still alive. Uh, that is almost everybody of the Dire dying, and the Windrunner is uh, just uh, in the base trying to regen some health. Uh, the tier two tower is gonna go down. Awesome fight for the Radiant. Got back yeah, to the last team fight. And yeah, and very, very unfortunate for the. I just to walk in there while they're waiting. Yeah. Wait for, they're waiting there for them. So yeah, and now they might even look to at least take some damage or do some damage on the tier three tower. Yeah, the edict goes up. Fortification.
Ascension goes up and yeah, the Windrunner is trying to harass the horse. Yeah, she's successful there, backing off for now. Yeah. Yes. And I think uh, the next target is going to be the tier 2 tower on the top lane, which is the only tier 2 tower for the Dyer left standing. Yeah, and the, ray, uh, the Dyer didn't, didn't even push a single tower yet, so not looking good for them once again, even though they have some good pushing power there yeah. with the Pugna. Then, and all of the tier one towers of the of the radiance, apart from the the top tower, are uh, are pretty uh, are in pretty good shape. The health is there for them. Yeah, and now they might catch the left rock here in the bottom lane. Uh, the gush is about to go off. Uh, Broodmother is standing there just uh, in case. Gush goes off on the on the on the left rock. Uh, Spawns pinelings on the on the pugna who plays his ward instantly. Uh, Nice shackle shot on the Shadow Shaman on the bottom uh, and to the tree. Uh, BKB is up on the Broodmother. Nice a stun from the Leshrak who basically killed off uh, Earthshaker with that with the last hit going to Broodmother. Venomancer is on the run and uh, the Dyer has already lose, lost two. And uh, are about to lose another with the Spawn Spiderlings again on the on the Windrunner. And uh, the remaining two Pugna and Titan are on the retreat but are being chased down. Burrow Strike on the Tidehunter, who's gonna go down, gets turned into a chicken, gets frozen, and I don't know why Pugna isn't running faster. He, I think he tried to help a little bit, but why didn't he run back? Uh, Webb goes yeah, down for the brute mother, and he's gonna go down, and because he is so fast, and uh, or is he? Yes, he is. Fawn Spiderlings finishes him off last hit. Earthshaker is just too late with that. Ultra kill for the brute mother, and that was really surprising from the. Uh, from the Pugna there, he could have continued running knowing that Tidehunter would probably die regardless and then Pugna would have been able to stay alive to get some of the kills on the Spiderlings to uh, stop the pushing a little bit maybe. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I think the, Pug the Tidehunter was definitely dead. There was nothing the Pugna could have done about that. Indeed. So he might have thought about getting some kills there maybe on the Crystal Maiden or the Sand King but yeah, it was in the end it wasn't worth it and Oh. Too much of extension. And there. Yeah, and meanwhile, well, the creep wave pushing up on the top tower. Which one is there to defend it, but. Still. Not really using a power shot to help, though. Oh, there we go. Leshrak having has Bloodstone up now, um, which is a great item for him, because he's involved in pretty many kills. Yeah. Um, the Shadow Shaman has a blink take, which he has quite some time now, and now he's going for a BKB and. Once he finishes, finishes that, they have such good initiation there. Yeah, we see uh, a smoke up from the uh, from the dire, uh, but they walk through a ward, a sentry ward of the radiance, so they know that they're invisible. Even though the Shrek didn't uh, act on it because he is still there, the that's just overkill a little bit. But he will go down, or he should go down. If he doesn't go down, that would be very surprised. There we go. Last hit goes to Tide Hunter with the anchor smash, and uh, the ward doing quite some damage there to uh, to his stun. Yeah, and the Lashrak is not happy with that. <laughs> he's pinging very... Yeah, he's pinging on the Broodmother quite a bit. Or, yeah, it is. No, wait. Nope. Oh no, it was the, what, the Sand King or what? I don't know. But yeah, it seems they're not happy with that. Oh. So yeah, no more pushing on the bottom lane. The Sand King and the Broodmother together. Um, and the Spy Links, of course. Um, I think the Radiant, uh, the Dire, they don't seem to be really sure what they want to do. But I think uh, they don't know that there's a ward there, that's uh, first. I think they might want to smoke up again. And they do have <laughs> a smoke on the Pugna. Yeah, it worked the first time, why not the second time? I don't know why it worked the first time, because yeah, they should have seen that. Yeah, definitely, especially since um, they have a ward there. Yeah, but now the ward, yeah, the ward run out and now it's only the spiderlings I'm scouting around. Yes. Uh, um. Take a look at the Venomancer. Um, he has boots and, and a wand. That's basically 700 gold <laughs> in 25 oh. minutes. Oh, nice shackle yeah. shots on the crystal main there. Gush goes off, power shot goes through, Gale goes through. She starts her ulti, but she will probably die. But she might also get the Venomancer, who is on the run and might, uh, well, is gonna be able to run away. Uh, Sand King dies also, and the, uh, the Shrek tried to save him with a stun, but that uh, is not gonna work. The Shrek getting uh, getting banished and shackle shot uh, to get a mini stun, and last it goes to Windrunner. 
<laughs> That's a yeah, very nice, very fight nice there. fight for the for the dire, and they uh, yeah, and definitely yeah, uh, not out of the out of the game yet. Uh, top Even tower went down though. Sorry. What? Top oh yeah, the top tower. Yeah, and yeah. the brutal was also pushing into the bottom tower. So, um, yeah, they get those fights. They take all those supports or or also Lashrak, who's. Uh, wow, he lost very many charges. He only has two tar two charges left on the bloodstone. So, but anyway, they don't do anything about the broodmother, and that's a big problem right now. The, the broodmother has dead loss. He has a black king bar and a uh, Vladimir's offering. So, yeah, they really have to do something about that. Otherwise, he will just crit, uh, crit them to death. Yeah, I mean, um, I was talking about items on uh, on the vendors earlier. Uh, Earthshaker also has a uh, actually. Earthshaker also has doesn't have a lot of items. Neither does Pugna. It's just a Tide Hunter that is a uh, Tide Hunter has some nice form with the blade meal and the pipe and, and mana boots and now also a gem of true sight. Just uh, freshly got from the from the courier there. And uh, yep. the gold graph is at 15k advantage, even though it's been even for a while and it did have a dip back at some point. But yeah, the radiant are uh, are heavily in advantage at the moment. And they, uh, Radians are trying to go for for Roshan. I don't know what Sand yeah, King is doing there. Yeah, they can do that. He's probably just waiting if they want to initiate, so he can just go in with his ultimate, with his blink dagger, or burrow strike if it gets disabled. So, yeah, he's completely fine there. Yeah, I'm. Uh, this next team fight might, um, yeah, not be very good for the Dire, even though they have a gem, but uh, the, the Radiant is definitely ready for them. They, they see the Sand, Sand King. King. Gale goes off, uh, but yeah, it doesn't uh, kill him. Or it doesn't hit him, even. And uh, no, Pipe goes uh, up, Shadow Shame and Wards goes up. Uh, Venomous ulti goes off, and the t kill is already there on the Sand King, who still managed to get his ulti off, and uh, Earthshaker is just going down Broodmother. Uh, is uh, annihilating uh, heroes left and right. Venomancer is down, Pugna is down, and Tidehunter is now the last one up on his team and is also dying. And there is the gem revealed uh, for for the Shadow Shaman. No? No, they actually <laughs> she seems they don't care about the gem, or maybe they did just overlooked it. But yeah, they will probably destroy it or. No, yeah. Shadow Crystal Maiden is gonna have it. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, team wipe. From the dire, and um, I think they could push in the tower now if they wanted to. The m one of the towers, the middle, the uh, bottom lane, yeah. has already damaged a bit. Definitely. So. And Crystal Maiden is just gonna counter ward with the. Uh, yeah, <laughs> with the gem, which yeah. is very good use of, the, of that. And. Um, what are they doing there? Just destroying their own ward. No, they don't. They don't do any damage. What? <laughs> what are they? Yeah, but they're destroying their own ward. You can't do that, I believe. Yeah, but they attacked the whole. I don't understand what they were doing there. It's just uh, having some fun, I guess. Yeah. Uh, they waited quite a bit with pushing in, though. Uh, the whole of the dire team are are back alive yet again, and uh, even though they don't have a venomancer and a tide hunter ulti, they do have the ulti from the earthshaker. But um, so if the I think if the Radiant would push in now with their full force, the, the Diode would be in a really tough spot. The Titan the Titan reality is not up for another 40 seconds, and yeah, he's even getting cut out, but no follow up on that stun from the left rack. Nope. The Brute Mother has another Demon Edge, so she might be looking at a MKB now. Um, <laughs> might also be a rapier, but I uh, kind of doubt mm, it. Yeah. Um, but we'll who knows? She has, a, she has an Aegis, so yeah, she probably could do it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. This brute mother is uh, definitely uh, a nice, happy carry for the radiant at the moment. Who is a uh, has a have, who have an invisible sand king, and just some harassment going on the venomancer from uh, from the spawn spiderlings. Uh, I don't I know what they want to want to do. What are they waiting for? I want to see rape here. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's nobody on the on the dire side who really could profit from a rapier because none of them is really a good direct hero. So yeah, go rapier. Sure. Uh, Pugna is being called out at the moment. Uh, 
banishes the Broodmother and Broodmother just uh, leaves it at that. Uh, don't know why he went back though, Spawn Spiralings will come out shortly and the last hit with a crit goes off and two sh Broodmother just two shot at uh, Venomancer. Uh, the initiation that is there for the Radiant to go off, uh, they managed to kill off the, the Sand King. Uh, stun goes off on the Tidehunter. Uh, there's no ulti up on the Broodmother, so uh, she is uh, backing out. Even though she has an Aegis, she could probably do something with that. Um, yeah, Lashrek is just backing off also, even though he still gets uh, fissured. Um, but those deaths on the Dire, they were just two shots from the from the Broodmother, basically. Yeah, with those crits, it's really ridiculous what damage she does. She does 800 crits and... Yeah, uh, Phenom uh, sorry, uh, Crystal Maiden might might be in trouble. There's a, sh a chicken and a shekel going out from uh <laughs> from the Shadow Shaman who teleported out instantly, knowing that there wasn't a fisher and that Tidehunter couldn't do anything to stop it. So that was very nice of him. Uh, we see a Broodmother uh, very much uh, diving and uh, might get a kill on the Pugna, but still, um, yeah, Pupster Aegis. Yep. Uh, GG is called, by the way. Yeah. So that is it, even though there's no. Never mind, there's now uh, barracks down on the bottom lane. Yeah, and I mean, the top lane, well, the top Aegis, add top Aegis, yeah, nice the top racks will pull up so shortly. They, uh, they will still look for a kill on the Broodmother, though, and they might actually get it. Uh, yes, they do get it. Tidehunter gets the last hit with the, with the blade mill doing, uh, well, basically, he killed himself. Very nice. Yeah, the they, kill the, they might even kill the Lash right now with a four staff. Um, it's just a nice power, power shot. shot and yeah. yeah, very nice. But yeah, still Lash right just buying back into the game, getting and, uh, BKB straight off the bat. Yep. And, um, yeah, and basically they they call it a G. It's just this fun just banter uh, now, funny, just for the fun. Yep. Some playing. No disconnects yet though, so. No, they think they uh, they still have uh, they still want to try to kill stuff. Yeah, and Leshrac um. Leshrac might be in trouble with the gale coming out. Uh, power or Shackle doesn't latch to the Sand King. Uh, he does uh, go away. Power shot doesn't hit anything. Crystal Maiden coming. In. Brute is still dead. Um, bought boots of elven skin. I'm <laughs> not really sure what for. But yeah, she uh, she got the BK uh, the MKB. Very disappointing. I wanted to see Rapture, but yeah. yeah. Sorry, maybe some other time. I thought we only I think we only saw one Rapture yet in the tournament, Did which was from the I don't know which team it was, but yeah, we saw one Rapture yet on the. Uh, do I don't really remember that. I think. I know, just know that the Venomancer kill, got the rapier in the end, and, but they still lost. It oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, the sniper mid guy. And anyway. the Venomancer just died. Yeah. Um, yeah, now the Radiant might push in the middle lane. And there are five there, so there's not, not much the yep. Dire can. Broodmother is back in the game, and here she comes. Up. Uh, yeah, gets uh, two hit, two hits, uh, two hits the Earthshaker, kills the Pugna, and uh, oh, she's gonna continue on. Gets a uh, Tidehunter, gets ravaged by the Tidehunter. Um, she gets scaled. She might still kill the Spawn Spiderlings. Finishes off Windrunner. Uh, last hit goes off on the on the Venomancer. Uh, Shackleshot goes off on the Tidehunter while uh, Broodmother is uh, trying to kill uh, to kill him off. He has his uh, blade mill still. Cooldown, so he can't really do anything with that. And last hit is there also. <laughs> <laughs> and the Titan, he bought a Mask of Madness for whatever reasons. Um, interesting build. And yeah, but the berries down there now. And um, yeah, some nice games. The one has to say the Team Replica replica definitely showed that they were pretty good, um, but. Also, big props to the Crushers guys. They hold on for quite some time and yeah, yeah seems to kept their spirit ups. They're still very light and very nice. Indeed, and uh, yeah, it, it was uh, well, it was not an even even game, but they had a chance and they kept having chances and creating chances and having good team fights also. Yeah, they had some pretty good team fights. Yeah. And yeah, in the end it wasn't enough, but that happens and 
we will see the replica guys now in the quarterfinals, I think. Yeah, Team Replica go on to the quarterfinals, indeed. Yeah. And there goes Nanction down. We will see a stat screen now. <laughs> the Korea from the Radiant is also there. Yeah, the is the. Screen, so. Having some fun with the courier there.